This week in North America, 406 new stalls were installed, bringing the total stall count to 48,970. According to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory's 2023 study, we need 180,000 stalls by 2030, bringing us 26.6% of the way there. Last week, Tesla didn't have any entered into the database, but this week they've got 13 new stations. ChargePoint has 34 new stations, but ChargePoint records a station as a stall. It's a kind of a quirk of their the way they report their data. EVgo has two new stations. EA has none, and I want to just have a quick conversation about EA. Let's go ahead and get into the data. First one is Tesla. Thirteen new stations. The biggest one being twenty-four stalls in Pomona, Pomona, California, and several twelve, one sixteen, a few eight, Melbourne, Florida. We've got some really large Tesla superchargers announced, and also the news article indicating that they're able to install a Tesla supercharger in four days from the time of construction. Obviously there's the utility hookup, which is the slow portion of that installation. And I'm assuming what Tesla supercharger team does when they're doing an implementation is they order the electricity and when they get indication that the electricity is soon to be available, that's when they send the truck with the hardware and the construction team to actually get those things in the ground and then they light it all up pretty quickly. Very well oiled machine. Uh, pause here for anyone who wants to take a look. Next one I want to call out is EA. They don't have any new stations, but that's very strange to me. So I just wanted to double confirm. And this is all the stations Electrify America has in this database. So they do update the database, and the last entry was back in February. Since then, there's been no new stations added. Now, Electrify America does add stations as they commence construction, apparently, but I guess they've hit a pause button, and there was kind of a rush on station building at the tail end of 2023 here in Charlotte, North Carolina. We had three stations open all in December 2023. But since then, I guess they ran out of money or something, but there's been nothing else added to the database for Electrify America. Okay, the next one is ChargePoint. I'll pause here because there's quite a few. Nothing really to call out, just auto dealerships. And I guess Ikea is doing delivery fleets in Toronto with electric vehicles now. There's four CBE 250s. Definitely impressive. I hear they're running out of production capacity for their equipment and they're starting to have to farm that out. Eric from the News Coulomb channel uh, mentioned that this week on a live stream I was participating in. So uh, their pace is definitely ferocious. <laughs> they have a lot of chargers going in the ground. I've heard it said that their sales team is very effective. Next one is EVgo. And there are two stations. Thanks for watching.